A Rockbridge County man who's divide, devoted his life to public emergency management and helping others during a crisis finds himself needing life-saving skills. 10 News was the only station there as he met the young man who brought him back to life. She said my body was locked up and I was seized and then fell over right there and that's where I lay. Just two weeks ago, a quiet Saturday morning doing yard work with his wife turned into a day that Robert Forsman would actually never remember. I don't remember going outside. Um, and honestly, the next time I woke up was Monday afternoon. Everything he now knows, his wife has since told him, including who was first to arrive at their house after he collapsed and she called 911. So the first thing that came to mind is just trying to get there as fast as possible. Deputy Daniel Trout was eight minutes away at the Sheriff's Department, but got to Forsman's side in just three. So I saw Mr. Forsman, he was laying face down on the ground, and that's what the call had come out as. When Deputy Trout pulled up to his house, Forsman wasn't just lying face down. He was dead. No pulse, no breathing. I'd left this earth. There was no pain. Deputy Trout started CPR, a critical move. Hey, that's a lot of a lot of what's going through your mind is just uh, just trying to keep your composure and and try to hold until EMS or, or you can get some help. More help arrived and flew Forsman to Carilion Roanoke Memorial Hospital. Before heading off for vacation, Deputy Trout wanted to check in on Forsman. How are you? I'm good, buddy. How are you? It's good to, good to th see you. I can't thank you enough oh, for everything. Yes, sir. I tell you, it was, uh, wow. In my opinion, that was the um, kind of the, the moment where I said, okay, this is the true meaning of being a public servant. You were in the right place and everybody was in the right place. I owe him my life. I can't, I can't ever pay him back. There's nothing I can do to repay him. Lord put me at the right place at the right time, and I think it's because of him that we're standing here. I still have a lot to accomplish. I have a, a grandbaby coming in December, and um, I want to be able to see my grandbaby. Thank, Thank you. you, buddy. Yep, I appreciate it. Adding new life to his Thank family you. while having a new outlook on his own. Enforcement plans to advocate for first responders funding in the future.